Hey guys, I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a head base in 10 minutes. So we're going to start out with a basic new sculpting blender file, and I'm just going to turn on dynamic topology and switch from relative detail to brush detail, because that'll allow us to get a little bit more control over how our mesh gets generated. Now, overall, for the majority of normal heads, this technique will work, and then you'll just have to put in more time and effort to add in some real details. But if you're switching to doing something like an anime style head, the effects and the proportions are going to be notably different. So this is a great place to start off on and then you can adjust from there. So with that said, let me go ahead and start my timer and then we'll get started. Ready? Okay, so my timer is set, and the first thing we want to do is grab the snake hook brush. So we'll do that by hitting the K, and then we'll come down here and just kind of create for ourselves basic outline of a chin. Now that's probably too far out, so then we can increase the size of our brush and kind of flatten out this head, because nobody really has a round head. People have, you know, kind of mostly squared off heads if we're really thinking about it. Um, that gets us pretty started. So what we've done there, we have created for ourselves a, let me turn on annotations real quick, a jawline that goes out a little bit. We can take that up when we need to. And then we've kind of smoothed out and flattened the sides of the head to get us more of a square shape. And now I'm just smoothing out the top and back of the head there. Okay, so the next thing we need to think about is the fact that jawlines don't generally just come out, they also come down a little bit. So we're gonna just pull this jawline down, that's fine. Now, we wanna add the neck before we get any further because the neck is really going to sell the idea that this is a real head. And without a good solid neck, your head is just gonna look weird. So let me grab the masking brush by hitting the M hotkey. We will mask out a bottom here, hit Control I to invert our mask, and then go back to the snake hook brush here and pull down a neck. Now the basic importance here is that a neck is just a cylinder that comes out and you can make the neck as thick or thin as you want depending on the type of character you're going to create but we're not going to spend a lot of time on the neck in this video unless we run out of things to do before time is up. But we have eight minutes left roughly so uh, let's go ahead and clear this mask by hitting Alt M and there we go. So we've got our head, we've got our uh, neck and now we need to actually start really focusing on these details and stuff that we're going to be putting in here So let me just smooth down the top of this head a little bit and remove this annotation And something you want to think about is that heads and faces are basically broken down into thirds We have a third of the face is from the bottom of the chin to the bottom of the nose Then from the nose to roughly the eyebrows and then from the eyebrows to the hairline So we kind of want to make that happen here, but let's just pull our jawline down a bit, and then we're gonna switch to the clay strips brush, make our thing thinner, and just kind of map out. Oh. So uh, by default, Blender has this radius based on pen tablet strength. If you're using a pen tablet, and I highly recommend that, check the description for my recommendations. You're gonna to wanna to turn that off. That can get really, really annoying when you don't know how you're going to be sculpting on your mesh. We've just drawn out our jawline here. We've kind of made it thicker than I suppose it needs to be. And we will just point out that chin a little bit more. And if we look at that from the front, that's not too bad overall, but I am gonna push this in just a bit because I don't think that is really great. We can maybe pull that back out a little and that's probably good. All right, so then we need to look at our model and I'm gonna switch to that annotation brush real quick just so we can say we're not gonna place these on the 3D cursor, we'll place these on the surface. And let's go ahead and kind of roughly draw out our thirds. So maybe that's a third, maybe that's a third, and maybe there's a third. So with those three thirds mapped out, I can kind of grab this head model and everything, and that's probably okay. All right, and then we can erase the one up at the top because that's basically done. Then we'll grab the clay strips brush again, and we're going to make our radius back down to, I think that's 77, 64, somewhere in that range. And we're going to hold control and draw in the eyes. Now that is too big. So let's make that down even smaller. We'll just switch to the negative instead of holding control because that's being difficult. Why did it increase the radius of my brush? And dynamic topology turned off. Kind of 
junk is this? Okay, so the blender settings were being a little bit weird. That's fine. Sometimes that can happen when you start control Zing. So we will just kind of pull out away our eye socket here. You don't have to get too in depth with that. We will be fixing that. We'll just smooth that down a little bit. And then we'll switch this to the positive and kind of mark out for ourselves where our nose is going to be. Now, this isn't gonna be a perfect nose, that's fine, whatever. Now, the one thing that you wanna think about is that most faces have some type of curve going down like that with the chin. So we wanna line that up, and to do that, we'll use the grab brush and pull out our nose just a little bit more, give ourselves a better nose there, and then we will push in the bottom of our chin and take that all the way up along our jawline so that we have that kind of angle going down there. So we will end up with an angle going like this and an angle going like that because the nose is really the, the front of most people's faces. Okay, so we've got our nose there. That's not too bad. Then we're gonna grab the clay strips brush and add in like a little section here for the mouth. Definitely push harder on your pen tablet up at the front because the lips should protrude. Then we'll smooth that down and there we go. Now we can come back here and say, well, that dude's jaw is out of whack. So let's grab the grab brush again and kind of push this in, try to get us a much more accurate piece. And we are actually on a pretty good path right now to getting a good solid eye socket. All right, and then we'll go back to the layer brush, or rather, sorry, the clay strips brush, and we'll just come back in here and put in an ear. Now, ears generally go from like right about here on the eye to right about there. So we can come back here and just kind of create an ear section that does that. Now, that's just gonna be a very basic placement. We'll come back to that in just a second. So we can start to fix this nose a little bit. We can pull this thing out. Uh, let me actually drop my brush down, pull and use the uh, snake hook brush rather than the grab brush. Pull this down, push that in, smooth that out. And there we go. We've got the beginnings of a pretty solid nose here. Let me just inflate this little section so that it's more standard all the way across we've got a pretty decent nose we can increase the eyebrow section with that inflate tool to move that down maybe increase the frame of the eye and maybe depending on what type of eyes you're going for you're going to want to pull these back even further if you want to sink them in maybe push these things up and for the eyes i know someone asked me during a live stream on tuesdays when i usually live stream just the sculpting process you don't want to sculpt the eyes into that you're actually going to want to add in a sphere onto your model uh, to give that eye shape there. All right, and we have about a minute and a half left. So let's kind of finish this up with the ear. So with, just with the grab brush, I'm gonna start getting the shape of the ear. And now that we've gotten that shape, we can switch to the snake cook brush and kind of pull that out. Now, that actually does a pretty good job of generating our ear for us, but let's zoom in, shrink our brush down a little bit and move these vertices around to something like that. And when we smooth that down and then we come back and inflate along the bottom of our ear just to give us a more defined ear shape we can then smooth that down and we've got a pretty decent ear outline that we can start with now that's not perfect we have about a minute left on this model and you can see i just kind of ruined that because whatever our ears weren't perfect it's fine let's smooth that down all right the last thing we want to do we're just going to crease in a line for these lips here and with 30 seconds on the clock we're going to add in crease brush and just kind of crease along and there we go now because we added the mound to that front there when we put in those lips we actually look like we have lips and that's crazy but that's done and so in 10 minutes roughly because we've got like 10 seconds on the clock left 10 minutes We've got a pretty decent solid head. And that was the point of this video. I wanted to show you guys, it's not very hard. It's not very, yep, all right. So that was time up. Now that time is done, we'll put our pin back in its pin holder and just check this thing out. Now it's not perfect. There is a lot more work that needs to get into this before it's ready, before I'm happy with it, before all the details are done. But the point of the video was to show you that you can create a basic head in 10 minutes. And I think we've done that. We've got a nose, we've got lips, we've got a jawline, which is there and, and decided. Now sure, the underside needs some work. We've got the basics for an ear going forward. We could spend a lot more time on just the ear alone. We've got an eye socket, which probably needs a little bit of work there, but hey, this is 10 minutes worth of work. And for 10 minutes worth of work, I am pretty proud of this. Uh, now, if you were going to 
improve this right we need to we need to finish out the eyes maybe add some additional stuff to the lips section kind of clean up this patch so there isn't this weird like jutting jawline because most skin stretches uh, definitely spend some more time on the ears and then we would clean up the neck but given that we've only had 10 minutes that's as much as we can do and we got it done all right guys, I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and if you wanna keep learning sculpting tools in Blender, subscribe so that way you get the next notification when another video goes live, as well as notified when I go live on Tuesday nights at seven o'clock Central Standard Time, where you can come in and we'll be working on something. Right now, we've been working on the Deku model, so you can come in and ask questions and make commentary and you know just generally hang out. It's a good time for all involved, or at least for, for me. Um, so with that said, guys, I will see you in the next video.